This machine behind me, this is the Hecate Compact Range. And we're about to tell you how this machine will win you work. So if you've been following our channel, you'll know that we've been doing a series of videos on the Hecate Compact range of machines. Uh, I'm here with Lee Scott. The topic today is about how this machine, well, this episode is about how this machine will win you more work. Now, Lee, I've been doing my research as I do, and looking on the specifications of this machine, you've got a repeatability of six microns, um, you've got 20 kilonewtons of force, 80 meters a minute in rapids, uh, acceleration 12 meters per second, 2,150 newton meters of torque. I mean, these are incredible statistics, but what do they actually mean and does anybody actually care? Well, people should care, Paul, firstly. And I think when you buy a machine, you're probably bombarded with salesmen, with data sheets, with why our machine's great, blah, 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 blah. But these are important technologies and, you, and, and this is what makes a machine perform or not perform, depending on the the, uh, the performance data that, that's provided. Okay, so all of these points, and we'll probably pick them out maybe one by one, but the, the ideal goal, or the goal is to get the part off the machine quicker, is that correct? And, and if it is, again, what, what does that mean to a user? For sure, well, th there's various ways to get the part off quicker, but if we look at just the productivity itself, and we, we look at you know, the spindle power and torque for a start, you, 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 you talked about two, over 2,000 uh, new, newton meters of torque, that makes a huge difference when you start cutting material. It makes a difference in the tools you choose, the speeds, feeds and depths that you, you, you can achieve, be it on a, on a piece of hard metal or for soft metal, we're looking at very high speeds, but also equally with high power. So, you know, aluminium, we can pull over 10 litres a minute on these machines. So it's all about how much, how many chips you can produce on that component per minute. Now this machine is a five axis machine, it's a twin pallet machine, it's a horizontal configuration, so quite quite a piece of kit. Um, and also, as you will have seen if you've seen our previous videos, we're discussing or have discussed how affordable these are and how economies of scale have meant now Hecate are building lots of these machines and they are reaching out to all kinds of manufacturers. Now some of these manufacturers may be small to medium sized businesses that may say, okay, you're going to get the parts off quicker but then the machine's just gonna be, have nothing on it. What am I gonna do next? Well, there's the opportunity, Paul. With a machine like this, you've got the opportunity to win more work, more different work, more high value work. And I'd say that's the answer. Don't have it stood still, go and fill it up. And then we talk about the accuracy and it's really important, isn't it, to make sure that part 20, part 40, part 80 is exactly the same as part one. And is that what this gives you? We, we, we talked about how effective it is at performance machining. It also has to be very effective at reliable, repeatable accuracy. So we've got direct drive measuring systems, we've got direct motors, we've got automatic optimization of the B axis on this machine, we've got numerous features on this machine and they're only there as features so that they can deliver something for the customer. It's all about speed, process reliability, accuracy, being able to walk away coming back the next day and you know that you, your batch of parts are all correct. Now the key to this is getting the parts off the machine as quick as possible and, and if you think well then I haven't got any work as Lee said this is the opportunity to go out and win it but in order to do that the machine has got certain things on it that might outperform others in your, your guys opinions these are acceleration rates jerk rates give our audience a flavor of those because these are fascinating. Well if, if, if you take a pocket for example People put a feed rate in a brochure. Great, it's a feed rate in the brochure. But from a standing start, you've got to accelerate up to that speed, you've got to run at that speed, then you've got to decelerate down again before you go into a, a pocket corner. So very, very high acceleration and jerk rates is the key to machining the pocket quickly. Not just a feed rate in a brochure. Sometimes brochures can be quite misleading. So that's why we say you really need to delve into these figures and understand what they mean multiple components is multiple savings isn't it if you amortize that over a tombstone four faces times that by two because you've got twin pallets eight faces that is what we would class as reducing non-cut time and improving productivity speed accuracy performance all for a decent price tag i'm told all for a very decent price tag